Do you think that video games are a transition to a more virtual society, online learning, online concerts, etc.? I mean, we already have avatars and social networks and so on. What are your thoughts about it? I mean, <laughs> aren't we already in a pretty digital society? I, I did an interview not that long ago and they were like, what's the future of games? Is it more, you know, augmented reality? And I was like, I kind of feel like we're already there. Like our watches track us and tell us how many steps we've gone. And um, I think that it will only become more, but there's no substitute. There's no substitute for the reverberation of a guitar in your chest at a concert, right? Like, I don't think it's going to take over the world completely, uh, but thank goodness for technology so we can have this discussion here or so that my children could uh, do online school last year instead of, you know, the school of, of mom. Um, so I think that technology will become and stay ever present, you know, force cornerstone of our daily lives, but it won't ever replace completely until we're like maybe ready player one stage but we're not there yet right <laughs> what do you think Renee oh the metaverse that, that's really the yeah. topic the hot topic yeah. this last year you know is the metaverse coming into existence are we getting to this you know ready player one style interaction uh and I agree with Rachel it's like yeah, I mean, certainly our online interactions and connections are becoming more significant. Technology is becoming more integrated in our day-to-day -day life, but we are tribal creatures when it comes down to it. And we appreciate interacting with people in person and creating, you know, smaller groups of personal connections. And, you know, we see that, yeah, certainly you can form some of those groups online and that can, you know, fulfill some of those needs, but we have sort of an innate need to connect with people on, on a more personal and I don't want to say necessarily physical level, but like pseudo physical, like in the same room. Uh, and I think we're a long, long ways out from technology being able to replicate even, you know, the, the, the range of true expressions. Um, you know, Zoom is a perfect example. Cameras are pretty good at capturing what people look like and how they're acting, but it's going to miss so many subtle cues. If you have a bunch of people sitting around a table, you know, you can look to somebody if you're expecting them to answer a question or when you're nodding at someone, you know, it's more specific uh, and you can, you can make other little gestures. Now that can't be captured by these flat cameras and in VR, like virtual reality is not capturing every single facial muscle twitch or small movement of the body. And because of that, uh, you know, and many, many more uh, different types of interactions, I think that it's going to be very difficult for our online world to replicate that for, you know, decades to come.